This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and we're kicking off a new video series about connecting Unity to MySQL databases. Um, there's a number of reasons you might want to connect your Unity game to an external database. These can include cloud saves, whether you're trying to allow players to play across multiple devices or even multiple platforms. Um, you can actually upload game content to your database and then allow players to download it without having to download new updates. Um, you can use it for analytics purposes, kind of tracking when your players are doing something or track what actions they're taking. Likewise, you can use it for web access for the players themselves. Maybe with a little bit of front-end development, you could create profile pages for your players or things like that that they can access even when they're not actually playing your game to add more interaction points for your game experience. Uh, we're going to be discussing a number of aspects of SQL databases, including how to set up the database itself, adding or what's called inserting data, updating that data, and reading or selecting data so that you can access um, user accounts, add new users, and um, update those user accounts as they progress in your game. The project we're going to do is a very simple login system to kind of track your a user and a score for a very simple kind of clicking game. And we're really going to skim the surface of a lot of topics here. We're going to be talking about SQL and query languages in general, uh, relational databases a little bit, PHP, the basics of having a login system, as well as information security, which is really kind of important this day and age. And it's something that I'm not going to get super deep into, but I want to at least touch on and give you the basics of so that you can dive in further with it. So that seems like an awful lot of stuff, like why are we adding in PHP to this? And that's really because PHP adds a layer of security between your database and your client side code. You don't ever want to be giving things like your database password to your players, even if it's buried in your game's code, because someone could pick through it and find it. PHP adds that extra layer of security. It's a server side language. That means that we all we do is we pass a request to the server. PHP handles all of the actual logic and all of the security for us gets back the information and just gives us back the information that we want to give to the player. So it's really kind of a useful tool as we create this pipeline. So hope you're excited about this project. It's going to be over the next probably about five or six weeks that we're going to build out this entire system. I'm really excited about it, looking forward to it, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future videos. Thanks for watching.